So this video is going to tell you guys about two concepts that are going to be really important in terms of ordering numbers and in terms of understanding how numbers relate to one another. We're going to first of all talk about something called a number line. And I gave you a blue list of numbers right here with four different numbers in it. And you're asked to put those numbers on a number line. Now, some numbers, when it's like a three, if I gave you a three as one of your numbers, you would just put a dot at three and it'd be totally fine. These numbers though are a little stranger in the sense that you don't, it's not immediately obvious what it's equal to. When you're doing this sort of problem, always turn your numbers into decimals. It's just the easiest way to deal with it. Turn them into actual answers and deal with it from there. So negative two squared means negative two times negative two. That's a positive four. So I'm gonna write down like a little four right here so I know what that's actually equal to. 13 divided by five. If I knew the answer off the top of my head, I could do that. Otherwise, I can just pull up my calculator right here. 13 and divided by five is going to give me 2.6. So this guy right here is equal to 2.6. The square root of five is a button that you may not know where to find on one of these yellow calculators here. You're gonna hit the second button and it's down here on the key with the X squared on it. It's in blue. When you hit second, you get to choose the blue option. So you do that, it'll tell you square root, then you just punch in your number. The square root of five is approximately 2.24. So that's about 2.24 here. And finally, same deal, I'm just going to take it and type in the last guy, negative, po sorry, I got negative 0.75 to the third power, negative 0.422 if I round. And once I have my decimals here, it's not hard to put them on a number line. It's not too bad. When I put them on the number line, just as a technicality here, I'm going to write the original number down. So my first one right here at four. I'm actually going to go ahead and write down my negative 2 squared again. Like you're supposed to label what number it is. So I put the original number instead of putting 4 there. So at 2.6, 2 between 2 and 3, that's 2.5, the halfway mark. It'd be a little further than that, like right there. That's going to be my 13 over 5. The labeling is important. Square root of 5 is about 2.24. That'd be just shy of, like there's 2.5 again. 2.25 would be the halfway point, so it should be just shy there. So that's going to be my square root of 5. And then negative 0.75 to the third power, negative 0.422. That's negative 0.5, so it would be a little less than that, like right there. Negative 0.75 to the third. Now we're asked to put these numbers in ascending order and descending order. So these are two vocab words that you may not have heard before. I'm guessing you probably heard them referred to in another vocab sense. So I'll give you that word as well, and I'll tell you how you actually do it. Ascend. If you're ascending a staircase or something, you're going up it. So it's going. You're going up. Ascending order is the same thing as least to greatest. That's probably how you saw it in your previous classes. So ascending order. We want our numbers to go from smallest to biggest. We want our numbers to go up or ascend as we go. So once you have your numbers on a number line, that's really not bad to do. You just start here, and as you get bigger, you go further to the right. So I'm going to list my dots off from the farthest one to the left over to the right. So my list for that is going to be 0 0.75, negative 0.75 to the third. And then I've got my square root of 5, followed by my 13 over 5, and finally negative 2 squared. Descending order, if a plane is descending, it's going down. So descending order means greatest to least. You want your numbers to go down in value. And all I'm doing here is flipping this list around, start on the right and go smaller with the numbers. So I am left with negative two squared for my biggest, followed by 13 over five. Then we have square root of five. And finally, negative 0.75 to the third. So that is ascending and descending order. 